Welcome back to BioVet, folks. John Ivankovich, and we're going to take a little walk around this beautiful 1965 365 horse car. Um, as I had stated before, this is a two time top flight car and uh, same owner since 77 with all the records on the car. And he's also put together a nice little banner that you can use at your local shows and such. Just kind of going over what the car was, what it did, where it was built, what the options that were on the car, like the transistor ignition and the power brakes. Um, and then a little blurb here about road and track and how it was tested. If you want to go uh, on a quarter mile at 14.2 seconds in a 65, I'll let you do that by yourself. Uh, but terminal velocity of 151 miles an hour before the front end started to lift up on them. But it's a great little thing. And if you have a Corvette or a classic car, I always like to tell people that's a great thing to include with your cars. It really kind of makes it easy to understand what they are. Uh, this particular car obviously red <laughs> one of my favorites uh, has the knockoff style wheels they are bolt-ons for safety and as long as we're here I'm gonna go over this with these chrome bumpers which are in great shape by the way the wind would tunnel under here and under the front end and when I said it would take flight the reason being is is when that wind got under here the front of this car would lift up Hence, terminal velocity. <laughs> um, all of the emblems, everything on the car is really, really nice. The, the lines around the headlight buckets, very, very clean. And we'll take a, a trip underneath here, but engine compartment wise, your power brakes, a Harrison overflow, um, just a very original looking style. 365 horse these were 11 point 1 11 to 1 excuse me compression ratios um, so a real high high performance engine especially for 1965 chrome and bright work around the windshield is in excellent shape and our windshield is in excellent shape as well it's free of any rock chips or uh, scratches delamination or any of those kinds of issues carpet looks to be um, it is the correct loop style carpeting and is in very good shape. As I had stated before, the only blemish I can really notice is that door panel there um, on the driver's side. Gauges are all clear and in working order, including the clock and the stereo. This top or this uh, center console has been added and it just comes out right there, but it's kind of nice to have a little bit of storage in a second generation Corvette. The top on the car is black and in excellent shape, just like the rest of the car. Now this is a car that has the pipes coming out of the back. As you heard, it sounds absolutely wonderful. I also want to point something else out too, that I'll have to thank one of my loyal customers and one of you video guys. This car has the comfort and convenience group. And in 1965, that got you the reverse lights in white and the ability to flip the mirror for the brights that might be in your back in the evening. That was called the convenience group and it was all of $14.95. But it's why in a 1965, these taillights are the two different colors. In a 66, it became mandated by the government. Little Corvette trivia. Folks, as usual, give me a holler. If you'd like to know more about this particular car or any of our hundreds of Corvettes we have in stock, and don't forget, we have a brand new showroom we'd love to show you around. Give me a call, 770-605-2056, or email john at buyavet.net. We look forward to seeing you out on the road.